I'm Robert LeMay. I've been a painter here in Edmonton in Canada for the last 30 years uh, or more. I've recently changed my subject matter a little bit. I've got a new body of work I'm pretty excited about called Mythologies. And uh, they come out of my, my book still lives, but I actually have turned to fashion magazines as my imagery. And uh, it's just been such a rich field of discovery. These are sort of modern age portraits, sort of like John Singer Sargent, or, you know, the people Rembrandt would have been painting in his day. And uh, I, I've accessed that, I guess, secondhand through the fashion magazine and, uh, you know, looking at contemporary celebrity. One thing about living in Western Canada, we don't have access here to a lot of the Baroque and Renaissance paintings that I like. They've always meant a lot to me, and now that I'm sort of painting the figure secondhand, uh, artists like Vermeer, I just have a whole new appreciation for how they painted the mystery of eyes and, and shaded skin, and it's, it's really uh, wonderful to experience that again in my work with uh, the celebrities of today. Going to the great museums in Europe and New York, uh, it's a great way to compare yourself formally to artists of the past and look for some of their models of how they've done things. With these magazine covers, I've taken all the captions off the magazine. There's only the title and the barcode to show its source. But then I'm looking at uh, where some of the photographers have obviously gotten some of their poses uh, from a history painting. So it's sort of coming back in on itself, uh, the contemporary photography with you know, earlier models of Baroque or Renaissance art. George Clooney is the only man I've painted so far, and I thought this image was just so arresting because he's sort of subverting the traditional idea of male power in his polka dot suit. And you can sort of compare this to other visions of uh, male depiction from the Baroque era. I found with these paintings I've been particularly drawn to the images that seem to reference uh, models of Baroque painting or Renaissance imagery, the women with the dog, uh, that's such a common image in Baroque painting, and it's just interesting how it uh, plays back upon itself then in my representation. The Kate Blanchett cover, uh, it's from The Economist, which isn't a, a woman's magazine particularly. I found most of my other covers, I'm interested in the way women look at themselves through the form of women's magazines, their presentation versus how... Uh, I suppose the male-dominated society has seen them. When I was at the Metropolitan Museum in New York last year, one of the things I was really struck by was the monumental scale of the figures in Rembrandt. And this is what I'm trying to do with my magazine still life. So I'm trying to take them off the coffee table and uh, an ephemeral thing that's thrown out every month and reunite it with the scale and the history of the paintings that I've been really influenced by.